Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through the 10th weekly love reading. We're going to see what comes up for you, Libra, for the week of September 4th through the 10th regarding love. If, it, if this doesn't resonate, then so be it. There's no way I could possibly read uh, everybody. Thousands of people watch this video, so this will resonate with some, not all. If you do happen to like, please hit subscribe, leave a comment, like. It's for Libra, September 4th through the 10th. If you'd like more personal information pertaining to you, you would have to book a private reading. I did pre-shuffle these three times with the bridge before uh, turning the video on. I'm going to go with this because I feel like it's right. Be careful. Something's going on that you are not aware of, okay? Just be careful. There's some kind of wake-up call on the horizon. I can do reverse, but I don't feel the need, so I only want to hear that comment. If you're looking for somebody who does reverse readings, then there are tons of readers out there that do that. My messages come from within. The cards are just a tool. All right, so... We have, you, we, we have you feeling sad over a situation, all right? Maybe you're not getting the love that you were hoping for, the attention that you were hoping for. Maybe you were hoping for something regarding uh, somebody and it hasn't come to fruition yet. Um, and you're just waiting and waiting and you've just been pretending or thinking it's going to happen and it just isn't happening. Um, and it's time for you to broaden your horizons, okay? I think it's time for you to broaden your horizons. I think it's time for you to spin the wheel. I think good luck is on the way as soon as you um, stop pretending about something. You are just ignoring a situation, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's bringing some imbalance to yourself. But you're about to have a wake-up call that is going to start to bring some balance back. Um, I know that you have been healing and you have been working on healing a lot. And this has been going on for a very, very long time. And I know that you have been working on manifesting. And, um, you know, you the you can manifest. You have the power to manifest a soulmate if that's what you're manifesting. But if it's not written in the cards, you can't change what is written in the cards. I mean, you can work on manifesting and you can manifest, you can think this certain person is your soulmate. For example, this is an example. And you can manifest this soulmate and you can be thinking about this certain person. But if it's not written in the cards, the universe is hearing soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. And they're going to bring you the soulmate that is written in the cards. All right. Um, and I see that you, ha I think that you have been crying over something um, that hasn't come to fruition, you know, moping over something, you know, and I think that you have a lot of strength, a lot of inner strength, and you have persevered a very long time, um, waiting for something to happen. I think that good luck is on the way, um, with somebody that you will be deeply connected to. Could be a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, there's something going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. That's all there is to it. 
there's something going on. So be careful, all right, because you never know what's going on. There is, there is some movement, though. There is some movement, and it's a good thing because there's good luck on the horizon. I think you're about to spin the wheel, and something big is going to happen for you in, in regards to love. All right, and I think it's something new with the Page of Pentacles. It's a new beginning. It's a new foundation. Um, it's coming, all right? Something is coming that you, in regards to love, in regards to somebody that could be your partner. I think it's coming. I think something is happening behind the scenes with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who doesn't go out into the limelight, okay? They stay behind the scenes and they work behind the scenes, all right? And you have the moon, which is behind the scenes. So I think things are definitely working in your favor behind the scenes. So you may not see what this is right away. I think you're focusing on something that that isn't happening because this is a stalemate. I think you're focusing on a love that's not being offered. And the page of pentacle comes up to let you know that there is another choice. Something is going on behind the scenes regarding somebody that you are deeply connected to. All right. Good luck is coming. Your wishes are coming. They are. All right. With this karma card, you're about to have a wake-up call that might bring some balance back to your life and cause you to remove the stalemate, okay? It's going to take confidence. It's going to take strength and courage. These conflicts right here, they're within yourself. Those are your inner conflicts that are causing you havoc. They're causing you hurt. They're causing you pain. Because you're not accepting the, you're not accepting, you're not getting the love that you want. Okay, you're not getting the attention that you want. And it's affecting your hopes and wishes. I know that you've been working on healing. You, there's a lot of healing here. There's a lot, a lot of uh, major cards here too. So there's a lot of divine guidance so when I said that you can't change the, the written plan, that's the truth. You can't change the written plan. That page of pentacles is a, is a new path. It's a new path. It's to saying that you need to broaden your horizons. You need to build a new foundation. It's time to focus. Refocus. Right now, I see fire sign. Leo. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I see that something is about to change for you, and I think it's very, very good. And it could be in regards to a new love, a new love, because you haven't been getting the attention from somebody that you were hoping to get attention from. And perhaps you're like, you know what, <laughs> it's time for me to move on. That's a perhaps. There are other choices out there for you. There definitely are some other choices out there for you. All right? But you're not even seeing them. A lot of you aren't seeing them. There's something cooking behind the scenes in your favor. And, and you may not even be aware of it. All right? This is the truth of a situation. This is the raw truth. All right, this is cutting through the bullshit. You get some wake up call that gives you the truth of a situation that brings balance back to your life and removes this delay. 
This right here is a happy, comfortable home life. Abundance. This is, a min there's other choices. There's another choice for you. All right. I think that, that at home, you're not very happy. And like I said, I don't do reverse cards because I don't need to. The messages come from within. I think you're not happy at home because you're not getting the attention that you would seek, that you wish for. Regarding love, you've been waiting for this person and your home will not be fully abundant until they're here. And that's causing you inner conflicts. But you're not seeing that there's other choices. You're bound to somebody. You're bound to somebody. And you know, there's, there's, we have several soulmates in a lifetime, I think. So I think that you are concentrated on somebody. Perhaps you're obsessed with somebody. Perhaps you're addicted to somebody. Perhaps you have a deep, deep connection that goes beyond this world. And you feel like your home is not home without this person. There's resistance here. There's definitely some resistance here. Somebody isn't giving you the time that you desire. Good luck is on the way, though. Good luck is on the way. And I think it's regarding another choice that you have that's cooking behind the scenes that you may not be aware of and you may not be accepting. Because you're so focused on something else. You may be addicted to somebody else or obsessed with somebody else. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There's been delays. There's been delays. I mean, we have Capricorn a few times. There's been delays. And it seems like things just aren't coming. And you're, you may be moping over this person. Crying over this person instead of seeing that there's other choices. There are other choices for you. So I think this week, September 4th for, through the 10th, is about you realizing that there are other choices out there and cutting through any thoughts of confusion. Okay, and bringing balance back to your life. You're going to have some kind of awakening in regards to your hopes and wishes, in regards to somebody not offering the love or accepting the love that you have to offer. I see that it's broadening, broadening your horizons because you want this comfortable, happy family home life. There are definitely some other choices for you. You could be cutting out an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And, I, and, you know, I don't think that you want to do this. But I think that something is needed because there's other choices. Something going on behind the scenes. And there's a stalemate right now with somebody. And you are resisting change. I mean, that's what I see. But good fortune wants to come in. It wants to come. It wants you to see that there's other choices. And as soon as you do, it could happen very quickly. We do have a Pisces here. I think you're scared to, I mean, we have some fear here. You're scared because you don't, you fear the unknown. All is not as it seems, okay? That's all there is to it. All is not as it seems. You you have your heart set on one person, and I think, you know, that person, this is for people that are waiting for somebody, that are waiting for somebody and have been waiting for a long time. I think that you have your heart set on this person, and you're losing opportunities. You're missing other opportunities in love.
I think it's a time of renewal. All right, you're about to have an wake up call, a wake awakening, or a wake up call, or an epiphany, or a breakthrough that brings a renewal for you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. Oh, getting chills now. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Oh, yes, they are. Absolutely. There's something going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of, and I think it's in regards to something new. I think you are resisting change, and the universe is trying to help you to make some changes and you're resisting it so heavily because you're obsessed with somebody that probably was your soulmate. And we have several soulmates. I see this is also about new beginnings on a physical level. It's a new security. Something new. You have a lot of newness here. But you're resisting it all the way. Oh my God. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Whatever it is that is holding you back is seriously holding you back. Seriously. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Once you decide to make a change, because right underneath this is seeing some other choices, crying over spilt milk, not realizing there's another other choices. There's another choice out there. As soon as you do, your love life change, changes drastically. It's going to take faith and trust and to let go of the fear of the unknown. What if I made make a huge mistake because I was so connected to this other person? Do you want to live alone forever? If you are scared, I mean you could you could die alone. If this is, if you're single and you're waiting for somebody from your past. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There's no need to cry over the past anymore. Good luck is on the way. Good fortune is on the way. Pay attention to the red flags within whoever you're still connected to. The signs are cautioning you. Again, with the moon card, there's something going on behind the scenes. Be careful. heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other maybe it's time if there's this person that you have been waiting on to have that conversation and, and put your foot down and say you know it's either now or never because I can't put my life on hold forever You're going to have to trust the universe. You're going to have to trust and have faith and let go of fear of the unknown. And I think there's other choices for you, Libra. So I think this week is, is about having that conversation with whoever this is that you're thinking about as I'm giving you this message. Whoever comes to your mind, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with. You're about to have some kind of awakening that brings balance back to your life and gives you some kind of renewal. Of love for yourself, okay? Because I know what you're thinking, a renewal of a relationship from somebody from the past. That's immediately what you're thinking. I think it's a renewal of love for yourself and self-respect. Because you haven't been getting the attention or the time that you deserve. 
That's a red flag. There's definitely something going on that you that you are not aware of. I think you have other choices and you are totally not seeing them because of your fear of making a mistake. But I think if you were to open your eyes and see all the red flags that we're talking about right now, whoever you're thinking about, there's a lot of red flags as I'm giving you this message. Whoever you're thinking about, you know there's a lot of red flags, okay? It's going to take strength, confidence, and, and courage. This week is about having that conversation. It's now or never. That's what I have. I don't feel the need to go any further. And um, I wish you guys the best of luck. I think that there's good luck on the way. There's good fortune on the way. There's a positive new beginning. New, hence the word new in capital letters. Capital N, capital E, capital W. New. But if you keep focusing, you keep focusing on something that isn't coming to fruition, there's going to continue to be delays. All right? So, delays regarding finding a partner. Your next soulmate. So it's all up to you. Talk to you later.